What's up my little tigers? This is Tiger Tank and today we're going to talk about seven hilarious tech bits. And trust me, you don't want to miss them. First up, we have the Apple Maps disaster. In 2012, Apple decided that they're going to be strong, independent men and women. I mean, strong, independent company, whatever you want to call it. And they decided to drop Google from its services. That they were like, your services are no longer needed. What happened? They launched Apple Maps. The result was disastrous. Oceans that led people into oceans, missing cities, and buildings that looked like Salvador Dali paintings. Yeah, exactly. Well, speaking of driving into water body. Yep, that happened in real life. Oopsie. I have another good one for you guys. This is a special one. Trust me. In five miles, turn gay. <laughs> if you have turned gay, let's move on to the next one. Choose jokes, choose jokes, choose jokes. Number two, guys. Windows 98 crash at launch. Microsoft Steve Ballmer introduced Windows 98 live event. It was supposed to be a revolution to computing. Two seconds later, I mean, it was the infamous blue screen of death. And yep, we know what happened when it came back in 2024, July 19. It was a global sort of epidemic. Steve Ballmer was probably thinking that, you know, he's going to go out there, revolutionize computing and be like, yeah, look at all these features. But instead, he had to be like, look at all these creatures. Blue screen of death, your constant companion. Mm -hmm. Back up, back, back up. And it's going to load in the appropriate drivers. You'll notice that this scanner build, whoa. <laughs> that must be why we're not shipping Windows 98. Yet. Absolutely. Windows 98 crashed so hard that day that it was kind of like your grandpa trying to forward you an email or you saying to your grandpa that, hey, grandpa, can you see my computer? I am sitting right in front of it, boy. It is uh, your computer. Uh, grandpa, not my computer. It's my computer inside my computer. Yep, go burn my computer, burn everything. And you can burn both of them, all right? You can burn both of them, my computer and my computer. My computer inside my computer and my computer inside. Another computer and... Number three, it's Samsung Galaxy Note 7 explosion. Or explosions. I don't know what you want to say, but I'm pretty sure it was explosions. Well, in 2016, uh, Samsung basically launched this great, amazing phone with a lot of features, much anticipated Samsung Galaxy Note 7 but turned out to be that it lights up brighter than my future what the hell guys samsung what the hell are you doing a phone can't be brighter than my future where will i go oh my god i have a revolutionary plan for these phones i have produced so many of those phones and anticipating to sell them but they didn't get sold for obvious reasons you know because you are not allowed to charge them ever. So what if we send these phones to Ukraine and end this war once and for all? I mean, imagine all the powerful bombs you could just create with those phones. I mean, you just have to plug them up, baby, plug them up. And another good thing about this phone is that when an annoying relative calls you, plug them up, baby, plug them up. And when you buy this phone, it shouldn't just come with a stylus or those fancy pan. It should come with fire extinguishers. Number four, it's none other than Microsoft Clippy. Oh my God, so annoying. In, in 1997, Microsoft launched uh, a writing assistant named Clippy. It was overly helpful and uh, something that no one actually needed. It would actually pop up from nowhere and constantly and say, looks like you're trying to write a letter. 
But you want some help? Huh? No, Clippy. Nobody ever did. Clippy was like a co-worker who would ask you to help, but never gonna help you. Um, if you need any kind of help, you can come to me. And then when you call them, Clippy was kinda ahead of its time. I think uh, it's like a grandparent of Alexa and Siri. But uh, fortunately, Clippy didn't try to order things online without asking you. So that was that was a good feature from Clippy, I would say. Number five, Google Glass. In 2013, Google introduced a glass, um, a VR sort of headset, eye set. I don't know what to call, but something for that looks like this, but not exactly looks like this. Uh, looks very weird kind of required you to say okay glass to activate it I mean imagine saying hey Siri now and still being awkward and back in 2013 saying okay glass That would be super awkward in train stations. I'm telling you. Yeah, I wouldn't do that I, I would get robbed. I would get bullied for doing that. I think for years to come Google Glass is for those people who want to spend $1,500 to look like that you just came out of a Star Trek convention and also the only girlfriend you have is your hand. Google Glass basically enabled you to see the world through augmented reality where augmented kind of left the chat and the reality was how fast your $1600 can disappear from your bank. And trust me, I don't like that idea. Ooh. Yeah. Nay, nee. nah. Number six is none other than Mark Zuckerberg. In 2017, uh, Facebook decided that for some reason they wanted to show how connection could be built going into disaster sites. Yeah, I'm not even kidding, guys. Check it out in Google. Just do it. Just do a Google search and just see the horror. <laughs> yeah, no wonder like people call. Mark Zuckerberg, half alien, half robot, and totally moron. This was supposed to show the power of virtual connection, but it was like a tone deaf fear vacation. Using Facebook VR at a disaster site was like using Snapchat filters at a very serious meeting where people are getting fired. And uh, then you're like, look, I look so pretty and cute in those puppy eyes. Mm. Zuckerberg grinning through these VR cartoons at a disaster site. It was like watching him wakeboard in the ghost costume and my desire to leave, leave my body, like for real. It was kind of equivalent of going to a funeral and singing Baby, 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 ooh, baby, baby, baby. Number seven is none other than another alien uh, who I actually respect a lot in certain areas. He is very smart, Elon Musk. Okay, but when he took over Twitter, he became a different kind of person, <laughs> or at least a side that I didn't see before. In 2022, he decided that it would be a good idea for Twitter to offer like the Twitter takes for $8 and you can just buy it. And what happened? I mean, it's not a great idea. Anyone can be anyone then and just be verified. It just didn't make sense. I mean, what happened to that board meeting, Elon? Or where are you in Joe Rogan again? Come on, tell me, boy. Where are you in Joe Rogan and smoking some douchey? Gosh, I knew it. Verification is, is for a purpose. That's why you have passports, ID cards, fingerprints to verify the credibility of your identity. And uh, if you can buy it, and anyone can be anyone, it's just ridiculous. So in 2022, everyone became their favorite billionaires or pharmaceutical companies. And yep, look at this. It was like a dystopian dating app where Tom Cruise needed Uber money so that he could come to you, who you have been dating for five years, and he just needs those $50. So poor, right? 
I mean, how, how can he afford Uber money? I mean, he's definitely not a catfish. He's Tom Cruise. He's verified in Twitter. Please, send him the money. Thank you for listening to me, my little tigers. So like and subscribe to my see you in the next one. Oopsie.